Hey guys, Stuart here. Thanks for joining me. I hope all is well on your side of the world. Now in this brief Google Search Console tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the simple step-by-step -step process of how to connect the Google Search Console with your Shopify store so that you can start tracking your website's organic performance on Google Search. Okay, so before you go ahead and launch into this brief tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that quick note out of the way, let's go ahead and connect the Google Search Console with your Shopify store. <music> Okay, so the first step to connecting the Google Search Console with your Shopify store is to navigate over to your browser and type in Google Search Console. Then navigate down and locate Google Search Console and go ahead and sign in. You want to sign in with your Google account. Make sure you have the correct Google account selected. Then navigate over to the left hand side and click on Search Property and come down and click on Add Property. Then simply navigate over to URL prefix. What we want to do is come down here and add our URL. So to do that, go ahead and log into your Shopify store. Then once you've logged into your Shopify store, simply navigate over to your online store over on the left hand side and then come down and click on preferences. And then what we want to do is remove our online store password if your website is currently not live for everyone. To do that, you can go ahead and click on remove password or simply navigate down the page to password protection and deselect this option here and then navigate up to save. Then what we're going to do is navigate over to online store and then click on this little eye icon. And that's going to take you to your online store. Then navigate up to the top of the page. And what we want to do is copy this domain. Now, as you can see, I'm using a myshopify.com domain. However, you might have a proper domain. So what you want to do is go ahead and copy your domain. Then head back to the Google search console and come down to URL prefix and go ahead and paste in your URL. Then I'm going to go ahead and remove the dash at the end and then come down and click continue. Then here, what we want to do is locate HTML tag and click here and then come down and simply click on copy and that's going to copy this meta tag here. Then again, what we're going to do is navigate back to our Shopify store. Then back under home, what we're going to do is come down and click on online store. And here we have the current theme, the Dawn theme. What we're going to do is navigate over to these three dots and then navigate up to duplicate. And that's basically going to take a copy of your theme in case you make any mistakes in changing the code within your theme. And what that's going to do is create a duplicate, a backup of your theme. This is in case we make any changes that are wrong with this current theme, because what we need to do now is actually customize the theme, the code by adding the HTML tag into the theme code. So it's always best practice to take a backup of your theme before making changes to your theme. Then navigate back over to these three dots and then click on edit code. Here what we want to do is navigate over to the left hand side and locate theme.liquid. Then navigate over to head and then click enter to add a space and then go ahead and paste in the HTML tag from the Google search console. Then all we need to do is simply go ahead and click on save. And it's as simple as that to add the Google search console HTML tag into your Shopify theme. And that's going to connect your Shopify store with the Google search console. So what we can do now is navigate back over to exit and we've done everything we need to do within Shopify. So what we can do now is head back to the Google search console. Then simply come down under HTML tag again and locate verify and go ahead and verify. This will only take a few seconds. And just like that, you can see that the ownership is verified using the HTML tag. Then come down and click on go to property. And congratulations, just like that, you have connected your Google Search Console with your Shopify store. This is the Google Search Console dashboard. 
this is where you can measure your website's performance on Google search. Now, if you want to learn more about navigating through the Google search console, what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through everything you need to know to get started and understand how the Google search console works. And with that happy note, you have completed the process of connecting the Google search console with your Shopify store. And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief Shopify and Google Search Console tutorial. Now if you have any questions about connecting the two together, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.